welcome to the morning prayer meeting. Uh, in Korea now it's 2.23 in the afternoon, but in South Korea it's still in the morning. And then um, I just arrived in the airport in South Korea, we call the Incheon Airport. And then because of a morning service, uh, some of our members are asking me, and uh, please, uh, Pastor Paul, keep on preaching at 6 o'clock in the morning in, in UK time. Now in local UK time is uh, I think six what six uh, twenty three. Sorry about the twenty three minutes late, but uh, I arrived here very safely in, in South Korea, and um, and I'll have a quarantine for two weeks. I'm in the airport now, and I'm waiting for the bus to go to Gangwon-do, and then our local GP. Now when I arrive in the uh, Gangneung local GP, they can pick up us as you like a mini cab driver to take to the Prey Mountain in, in, in South Korea, Kosa. Uh, Praise God. I continually share, if you have the Bible, look at the 1 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 9 to 13. 1 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 9 to 13. I have written you in my letter not to associate with the sexually immoral people, not all, all meaning the people of this world who are immoral, who are greedy, who are swindler, and who are idolaters. In that case, you would have to leave this world. But now I am writing you that you must not associate with anyone who calls himself a uh, brother, but is a sexually immoral, who are greed, an idolater, who are slander, who are drunkard, was Indra. With such a man do not even eat. What business is it of mine to judge those outside the church? Are you not to judge those inside? God will judge those who outside expel the wicked man from among you. Yeah. This morning I would encourage you don't join with the long company. In this world, there's a long company and good company. What does mean long company? Long company means some people, though you, though you strangely, strangely, sorry, because I'm in the airport, the people is behind me. <laughs> and some people, uh, they're wicked, especially sexually immoral. And the people in this world, immoral, greedy, swindlers, idolaters. You know, we have to, we have to come out from this kind of, these people. Leave them, leave this world. And then, you know, if you are a man and woman of the Holy Spirit, you have to join with the man and woman of the Holy Spirit. Don't join with this kind of uh, the greed or the sexual immoral, these people, never ever. You know, these people even don't eat sex with the sexual immoral or drunkard or swindler. Don't eat, don't leave, don't, don't eat together. Don't join together with these people. Yeah? And then, um, this is scripture say. Therefore, you have to have the fellowship of saints is very, very important. One of our members, uh, she was alcoholic, but she, she still joined with um, the alcoholic, drug addict, you know, all these people. She never come out. But if you join with us, um, she, it's easy to she come out from all the darkness. Therefore, and please uh, uh, join with a good company, which is the man of God and woman of God, who are full of the Holy Spirit, who are, you know, fear God. If you join these people, you'll be prosper. And uh, look at 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 1 to 4, say, If any one of you uh, is disputed with another, there he take it before the ungodly for judgment instead of before the saint. Do not, uh, do you not know that saint will judge the world? If you are to judge the world, are you not com competent to judge the uh, trouble uh, cases? Do you not know that you will judge angels? How much more the things of this life? Therefore, if you have a dispute about such matters, appoint as a judge even man of little account in the church. You know, you and me even judge the angels. Can you imagine? Because of, you can judge the angels. What does it mean? You know, you are no more the belong to the belong to this world. You belong to Jesus. Therefore, you can judge the darkness. Thanks be to God. Therefore, when you live in this world, what God wants to do, God wants to expel, expel the wicked man. 
from among you. God will be kicking out all the darkness from your uh, life. Anything is not things of the law, you need to cut it off. And then, um, yes, and um, yeah, you know, many, many years ago, you know, we look at the homeless, drug and alcoholic, prostitutes, gangsters in, the, in certain area in England. And you know what was happening? Three alcoholic, they like to make our church at the Scottish house. You know, three alcoholic guys, they lock the door inside of our church and our congregation cannot enter the church. Can you imagine? These are alcoholic, these people, they dominate our church. I was in Israel at the time. And I talked to the one of our members, asked him to call the police. And the police come to our church kicking out these people. You know, in the last day, you can see so many strange things in this world. Can you imagine three alcoholics? They, they stay in our church. They never appreciate to the church of God. They lock the church from inside. Our congregation cannot inside our church. How terrible. But thanks be to God. You know, God working together for good. And therefore, in the last day, don't join and, you know, with a long company. Don't join with the wicked people. If you join with the wicked people, you never prosper. When I'm in Korea, I pray to Allah, open the door to meet the right people in the right time, in the right place. You know, I don't just meet with anybody, no. I pray and pray, Lord, you can open the door to meet the right person, yeah, and the even right church. I talked with the Pastor Kim, uh, the Rebirth Church. I thank God for uh, Pastor Kim and uh, he welcomed me. And then another pastor I sent, uh, I mean, just I uh, announced in the Facebook, I go to Korea. One, one pastor, Pastor Lee, he said to me, Pastor Paul, we have a mission center in, in, in South Korea. If you don't have a place, please come and stay. Can you imagine somebody? I knew him, wonderful man of God. He welcomed me, invited me to stay in his mission center. It's not wonderful. In the last day, God opened the door for you to join the good company. In the last day, you need to meet the right pastor, right church, spiritual church, spiritual Christian. It's very important. In South Korea, is one of the cult is Shincheonji. You have on the earth that kind of strange uh, you know, organization that is a cult. And Mr. Lee Man He is a, is a leader of this cult. I think he's in prison now. You know, these people are so wicked. They misuse the name of Jesus and then damage the church, damage the people's life. Therefore, in the last day, we need to wake up. Please join the good company. Join the good company means join with the spiritual Christian. Those who fear God. These days, I'm going to have a two weeks quarantine. When I have a two weeks quarantine, and then when I have two weeks quarantine, and then, you know, I would love to read the whole Bible three times from Genesis to uh, Book of Revelation three times. Pray for me. I want to enjoy the Word of God for two weeks' time to read the Bible three times. This is my aim. This is my prayer. Lord God, help me. I already just finished the lead from Genesis to uh, Book of Leviticus now. Uh, from 10 hours, in 10 and a half an hour journey. Can you imagine 10 and a half an hour journey? I finished the uh, uh, Genesis, Exodus, and uh, Leviticus. And I continue to lead the uh, Numbers and the uh, Deuteronomy, and I continue to lead, lead the Bible. Yeah, and then, um, you know, you can join the good company. What does it mean, good company? Do you fear God? Do you love the Bible? Do you pray? Told you who to winning the source. Even in Korea, I saw many uh, Korean police and Korean security guys. I shared the goodness of Lord Jesus in the airport. I encouraged them. I invited them. I gave the uh, leaflet. You know, I gave the uh, leaflet. Until I put in the uh, uh, my my pocket. This leaflet. I, I give the leaflet for all the people. Uh, in, in South Korea. Continue, I keep on preaching the gospel. After quarantine, I'll go to Itaewon. And then Itaewon is the uh, most popular place for foreigners to come to Korea. And I want to preaching in there. Many Muslims in there, there also. Many American soldiers, and then, yeah, many foreigners uh, you know, uh, enjoy in Itaewon. I'm going to go there, and I'll announce it, uh, later which date I can go there. But uh, thank you so much for your prayers and support. 
and then my prayer for you, fear God. And then you yourself will become a good company. And then let people uh, to join you. And let people start a new life through your life. Then let me pray. Father, I thank you. I pray for England, United Kingdom, all Europe, even Korea. Father God, I declare, I decree, Korea shall be saved. Even South and North Korea become a united country. One country. Oh Lord, heal the nation. In the name of Lord Jesus, I'm not saying, Father God, United Kingdom shall be saved. Lord, help us to become a good company, to fear God. We, 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 we join Jesus. Therefore, Jesus is a vine, we are a branches. And because we connect with the Jesus, we are a, a good tree, and we can bear the good fruit. Father, we thank you, bless your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for prayers and supporting uh, for this journey in South Korea. I'll go back to Korea on the 7th of August. But, uh, and God will open the door. God spoke to me in the, uh, in, in the aircraft, inside the airplane. God spoke to me. God wanted to shake the Korean churches and, um, while I'm in here. And can you see that I have some sticker to go to Gangwon Do with a free limousine bus to take me to Gangneung. From Gangneung, another GP, GP, minicab, minicab, GP uh, uh, bus, uh, or I don't know, mini car, mini cab, or the mini bus, they'll take me to the Prey Mountain. I want to stay in the Prey Mountain for two weeks until 14th of July. Yes. God bless you. Have a wonderful day today. Be blessed. United Kingdom shall be saved. Korea shall be saved. God bless you. I know.